Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to International Indian School Chitta, Grade 6 English class today. Today, we are going to learn and experience a new level of teaching through the audio PowerPoint presentation. Hope you will learn and enjoy the lesson today. We are going to start Unit 1, The YY Girl, A Story by Mahashweta Devi. Each and every class should have some objectives that enables the students to understand the importance of learning the unit. So, our objectives of today's class are to enable you to read the story on the transforming of education, understanding and appreciating a strong female character, learning about socio-economic conditions of a tribal community, making a poster and enhancing your LSRW skills that is your listening, speaking, reading and writing skills. Let's get warm up by thinking these questions. Did you know that 8.1 million children in India between the age of 6 and 14 do not attend school? Did you know that 12.6 million children in India work part-time or full-time Sometimes instead of going to school. Why do you think these children are sent to work instead of school? Think. Yes, you might be right because of the poverty and illiteracy India is facing. Most of the children are sent to the work instead of going to the school. Now you must be thinking that why this unique name is so unique as why why girl the lesson talks about a girl moina who lives in a little tribal village she cannot go to the school because she had to tend the goats collect the firewood fetch the water but she is so full of questions that the postmaster calls her the why why girl yes who has given the name the postmaster the author Mahashweta Devi is one of the India's foremost writers. In this delightful story, her first picture book and the only children book she has written in English. She tells us how she meets Moina and her mongoose and helps her find answers to all the YYs in books that Moina herself learns to read. To begin with, let me introduce the author to you, the Mahashweta Devi. She is a Bengali writer. She works very closely with the tribal people in West Bengal, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh. She spoke up about the rights and work to provide them education and employment. She has written many stories about these experiences including the Why Why Girl. Why Why Girl, a story Let's by Mahashweta Devi, the audio of the lesson. illustrated by Kanika Kini and this one is by Tulika Publications, if you do want to grab a copy that is. But why? The question came from a small girl, about 10 years old. She was chasing a large snake. I ran after her, grabbed her plate, held her back, shouting. No, Moina, don't. Why shouldn't I? She asked. It's not a grass snake or a rat snake. It's a cobra, I replied. Why shouldn't I catch a cobra? Why should you? We eat snakes, you know, Moina said. The head you chop off, the skin you sell, the meat you cook. Mm. Yes, yes, but... Don't do it this time, I said. I will, I will. No, child, don't. But why? I dragged Moina back to the Samiti office. The Samiti is where a group worked together with all the local people in the village. So I grabbed her back there, where I worked, you see. And I told her mother Kiri who was sitting there weaving a basket and we did a lot of work with the tribal people. The Samiti 
was a place where people could come together, they could sing and dance, read and write. It was a very fun place. I told Moina, come, come and rest for a little while. Why? Aren't you tired? I asked her. She shook her head vigorously. If I get tired, who will bring the goats home and collect firewood and fetch water and lay traps for the birds? <laughs> you see, Moina was full of questions. Moina, don't forget to thank Babu for the rice he sent us, said her mother Kiri. Why should I thank him? Don't I sweep the cow shed and do a thousand jobs for him? Isn't that a way of thanking him? Does he ever thank me for all the things that I do? Why should I thank him? Saying this, she ran away. Kitty sighed, shook her head. Never seen a child like this. All she keeps saying is why, why, why? No wonder the postmaster calls her why, why girl. <laughs> I like that, I said. But she's very obstinate, said her mother. Just won't give in when I tell her to do something. Moina was from a tribe called the Shabars. Shabars were poor tribal people. They owned no land. But nobody complained. Only Moina's questions went on and on. Why do I have to walk so far to the river to fetch water? Why do we live in a leaf hut? Why can't we eat rice twice a day? Moina tended the goats of the village, landlord or the babus as we call them. But she was neither humble nor grateful. She did her work, worked hard and came home in the evening. Why should I eat their leftovers? She asked. I will cook a delicious meal with green leaves and rice, crabs and chili powder and eat with my family. The shubbers did not usually send their daughters to work, but Moina's mother had a bad leg and couldn't walk properly. Her father had gone off to faraway Jamshedpur in search of work, and her brother Goro went to the forest every day to collect firewood. So Moina didn't have much of a choice but to work. Now that October, I stayed in the village for a month. One morning, Moina declared, to me that she would move in with me. Her mother Kiri said no. Why not? It's a big hut. How much space does one old woman need? <laughs> well she was referring to me of course. What about going to work? Her mother said. I'll go but I'll come here after work to her house. To my old lady's house. And she came with one change of clothes and a baby mongoose. It eats very little and chases away the bad snakes. The good snakes I can catch and give to mother. She makes lovely snake curry. I'll bring some for you, she said. One of our Samiti teachers, Malati, said to me, This little girl will exhaust you with all her whys. What a time I had with Moina. Why do I have to graze the Babu's goats? The Babu has boys who can do it. Why can't fish speak? Why do stars look so small if many of them are bigger than the sun? Just like you tell me. One night she asked me, Why do you read books before you go to sleep? I said, Because books have the answers to all your whys. And for once, Moina was silent. She tidied the room, watered the flowering tree, fed the fish to the mongoose, then came up to me and said, I will learn to read and find answers to my questions. When Moina grazed the goats, she told the other children all that she had learned from me. Many stars are bigger than the sun, but they live far away so they look small. The sun is much nearer so it looks bigger. The fish do not speak like us. They have a fish language which is silent. The earth is round. Did you know that? She said. When I returned to the village a year later, the first thing I heard was Moina's voice. Why is school closed? She challenged Malati as she entered the Samiti school, dragging along a bleating goat. 
What do you mean, why? asked Malati. Why shouldn't I study too? said Moina. Well, who is stopping you? But there's no class. School is over for the day, Malati point out. Why? Because, Moina, I take class from 9 to 11 in the morning. Why can't you change the hours? I have to graze the goats in the morning. I can only come after 11. If you don't teach me, how will I learn? I will tell the old lady that none of his goat herds, cow herds can come if the hours are not changed, she said. Then she saw me and fled with her goat. I went to Moina's house in the evening. Nestling close to the kitchen fire, Moina was telling her little sister and elder brother, you cut one tree and plant another two. You wash your hands before you eat. Do you know why? You'll get a stomach pain if you don't. You know nothing. Do you know why? Because you don't attend classes at the Samiti. Ha! She said. Who do you think was the first girl to be admitted to the village primary school? Moina, of course. Moina is 18 today. She teaches at the Samiti. If you pass by, you're sure to hear her impatient, demanding voice. Don't be lazy. Ask me questions. Ask me why mosquitoes should be destroyed. Why the pole star is always in the north sky. And the other children too are learning to ask why. Moina doesn't know I'm writing her story. If she did, she would ask, writing about me, why? Thank you for listening. Dear students, hope you have enjoyed this lesson. To recall once again, please go through with the summary given. Here is the continuation of the summary. You can just pause the video and go through with the summary. Now here comes home assignment for you. That is, that you have to read the lesson carefully, note down the meanings from the text, you have to frame sentence for the given words, complete question answers, give reasons and think an answer. And even you have to make the poster in A4 size paper. Here are the frame sentences given to you vigorously. Obstinate, tended, humble, exhaust. Even I have given one example for you for the word vigorously. He shook the blankets vigorously to get rid of the dust. Similarly, you have to finish off remaining four. Neatly in your classwork. Here comes question answers. The first question. What was Moina's nickname? Why was she called that? You very well know the answer. Similarly, the remaining four you have to complete in your classwork. Here you have to give reason why Moina had to work. Why did Moina want to eat? Do not want to eat leftovers of the village of the landlords. Why Moina did not decided to learn how to read? Similarly, the fourth and the fifth. Here comes the think and answer. How do you know that the speaker is proud of Moina and approves of her curiosity? Give example from the text. Knowledge has the ability to spread from person to person. How does Moina prove this? And the third one, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. How do you think education will help Moina and the Shabas? Here is the writing task for you that you have to make a poster in A4 size paper for your school notice board 
on how it is important for everybody to have an equal opportunity for education. You can use the slogans like, education is the movement from darkness to the light. You have to finish off all the assignment in your classwork and you have to submit this assignment after reopening of the school. Thank you very much students.